turn on your lot. Welcome to the video. So I got some results yesterday and basically things aren't too great. Uh, the lump in my chest is cancerous. So it is melanoma. It is, um, it's basically a tumour that's grown from my original source of cancer. This is not good at all and it's actually really panicked me. I found out the news yesterday. Sorry if this is all gobbledygook, but anyway, I'm just going to talk at the camera. So I got great scan results from my brain. Then Peter rung me with the news of my lump yesterday, which is significantly grown. Don't know if you can see it right there. It's melanoma. So on Monday, I've got to have a CT scan to see if it's anywhere else in my body. Um, the chances are relatively high. Um, and if it is, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will still remove it next week. So I'm going to have the tumour removed next week um, on one of the days. And depending on whether it's anywhere else in my body, I'm assuming that they'll go for some more treatment, maybe on top of what I'm already having, or maybe some different treatment. I know as much as everyone else at the minute. Um, it's scary because it's right there, it's on my chest, and it's like, it's almost suffocating. You know, I, I, feel, I feel suffocated by it, but it's tiny. In, you know, it's not gonna suffocate me, like, it's not gonna suffocate me, but it's just, because it's there, it's on my chest, it's probably, you know, along with the brain tumour, it's probably one of the worst places I've felt like I've had it. So this is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth place. Se wow. Seventh place the melanoma has spread to. Incredible. Like it's, it, it, it can go round so quickly. And then I've just been, again, like woken up. You know, you have these like hints of shit reality like I, I could have been dead by now or and then you kind of forget about it when you get good results you forget about it. you get sucked into work life you know stresses that really you know matter to you on a day-to-day -day basis but really in the grand scheme of things are nothing you know um and i've just been woken up once again by this like cancer just reminding me you know i'm lucky to be alive no day is promised with cancer and you know no day is promised even without cancer and you just kind of realize that a little, little bit more i am really annoyed i'm i'm almost angry i haven't actually got upset yet about it and i'm, I'm very might, might seem like i'm very matter of fact about it but that's just how i'm coping with it at the minute I mean, i'm probably just kind of on overdrive you know i want plans i want plans i want to get it out now i want to get rid of it i want to get this off my chest hint <laughs> <laughs> not funny so yet again I've got another hurdle to cover another hurdle to cross in the cancer journey scary times ahead and I'm back home. So I've just had a call from the Royal Marsden and they've just confirmed my surgery for the Thursday. Um, but yeah, that, that is pretty much it. That is the news, that is uh, rubbish. It's another hurdle in my journey. It's not good at all. I was, I was really, how can you say it? I was really loving life. I was really seizing, you know, work, training, relationship, family, like everything was positive, everything was great. And as soon as you, you kind of like get a curveball like this, you just oh, straight back down. So no doubt I'm gonna be vlogging my journey the whole way through. Thanks to everyone who showed me support over the last 24 hours since getting my news. Thanks for work for helping me sort everything out. Um, I really appreciate it. Me and Aisha are so grateful for everything that is, you know, even just a bit of love. If you've, if you've shown us a bit of love, then we're, we are so grateful to, for that. Um, I'll keep you updated. I'm going to be vlogging as much as I can because it's going to be the thing that's keeping me sane. Because I might not even be able to train next week and over the next couple of weeks with this uh, cherub. So yeah, but um, as soon as I find out my scan results, I'm sure I'll be vlogging it and I'm sure I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Love you. Peace.